ewo omega live tv na ene ye be didi abubu kakra about ghana ye man ghana and no ma e koso a ye the state of our economy e be kan no ma kakra kakra hawa and no ma city na ye ni honorable elvis a free year ankra former minister for youth and sports in ghana and a abd abubu honorable welcome Welcome, good evening, and uh, greetings to all your listeners. Thank you. Honorable, um, yeah, was it. say a call for this invitation. Ah, a cheer for I alert, be brave, or more chain, but in terms of a normal kitten kitty be about NDC. Sebe preparation for 2024. Mr. Kitty Austin, our own right, he or the chairman for PPP, our UK, our own so I join you. Honorable, now your first year, you will say, How was your day today? And then I would date it to say, I don't have a day in here. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I'm a private office. I'm a phobia. Uh, about that, you know, my own seminary. I did. It's been a good day. Now, I'm not a ne over a program. You see, you'll be with us. Why, sir, who go for the general secretary for NDC? Because what they are saying is, I see a drink here has been through the highs as far as Ghanaian politics is concerned. Mm -hmm. Now, after you know, he has been a member of parliament. For over the years, and as a general secretary for NDC for over 18 years. Mm. And the, what motivated you to go for that position? Oh, me do I say, first of all, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, this year, Sam Tibula, I'm going to say, you know, HSA branch elections are branches, no, and they are part of the family. No, na I was a BBL, you be under Fapem Nia. When you are Fapem Nia, be a DH Briano. A bit to me, a con kind, and to perceive focus on your branches. No, Sir Menuswa, a Macarandi, and the Amidia Cesar, the contest for General Secretary. And a mini opinion, Madame Fu, mini papa, noble as you don't get here. Sir Baby Cranker, I was here sitting. Now, the Dini Dini Bong, I see you don't get your institute for leadership. Was some parts in a few don't want training. Why are they a part of my party? No, in Timmy, sir, I'm rebuilding no sanko on the bit to me, Eddie. But me, no, a sebio, a more politics more experience, Kakra. From 1994 to 1996. I'm a president of University of Ghana, Legon, mm -hmm. Student Representative Council. If you all number Ghana, National Union of Ghana Students, who is a coordinating secretary. If you all in 2000, I'm a parliamentary candidate. I was a West Morgan. If you all a map of South Mills, who is Canada, by a Dr. Kwesi Butri, a Babe Pre for flag bearership. I'm a deputy campaign manager for Professor Mills. And I mean, if we hold 2004 main campaign, I'm a deputy campaign manager, my name Professor Alabi. Professor Alabi, I know a campaign manager, and I'm a deputy. If we hold, now I'm a coach at the UPSA, Accra, and I'm a head of uh, English and Communications Department. So, 2005, I was a I was a member of the Deputy General Secretary. The Deputy General Secretary, I was a member of the Deputy General Secretary. I was a member of the Deputy General Secretary. I was a member of the Deputy Deputy Minister for Local Government. I know some local government, so I said, You will go to an AMI near there. 
aye nyo mu dinki ta ti ma mi chin gana pa ne nyina ti na chese wo kwan bi so no e ba toye wo e ara ye i think say um obi e wo so um mi ba cho whoever me sir wo obeti mi i i mute yourself um uh, one william Mr. William, Ubeti, I'm to yourself, please. Thank you. You are not Ubeti, my so why? Thank you. Ah, and the a few honor as local government deputy, the whole the concluding, and the Professor Mosa, my friend, or that time he will be in any of our mass campaign coordinator, and this for the Ghana for the Nabi Dima dance yes, he is now a Jumading. As campaign coordinator, I brought my home one day together with all the other executives. Our president, Mahama, he did post me and said, Oh, come, come, any day, come. The free hall nearby, I'm a minister of sports from 2013 to 2014. The free hall, and I'm a flagstaff house as minister of state. It's a very long experience. It's a very long experience. In 2016, the Anamish had a and, and and play any front line role in a campaign. 2018, and I assigned every man my appointment as director of elections. Uh, as director of elections, from my home idea, together with the team, and we'll be up on the home day, from President Mahama to Chairman General Secretary, 2018. Uh, and I now you have a deficit of over 1 million votes. Because we senior one any any deficit. NFP parliamentary, NMP before 169. NIA award, there were 108 or so. And no, you are going to be able by the official report, in your 137 seats, make us MPP before lose to 31 seats. Yeah, by our calculations, no. In your 142 seats. If you say, maybe we are only to treat some any way more as an answer no court, the team might, uh, the so I am, uh, Sikado Ketan, so if you also any home chronic. And uh, presidential and also your votes are caught up by over 1 million votes. And see, uh, even the election, electoral commission and declare my own. In him say a boy home body. And see, no was our experience in a and back to one with Dimma could train a minim cacra and say a castle about to our party operations. I mean, in charge of operations, I got to about 2008. Far person, he didn't could him. Minim say a juma, I was to mercy, and I mean, him say a juma, a wedding, both overt and covert. Into a German dear, Yamia Dom, Messiana, meaning said, I didn't need by a Juma. I knew it true, Pap, because a German year, Juma won't come to me yet. Obey no, we are singing the Indian, I won't. But quiet or be fast, so I won't name a man for a big dink it down. I said, You'll be crowd with him, Chow. No bit me at Chum in our bell. Now, Patinum, a bit to say, bit to say, a Sabio, bit me new be a den couple more. Now, bit me new be a year, Juma. So it, this are uh, no. Anabo. These are some of the things that we feel that Ubetimaya differently to what the general is doing. I mean, can't say differently. Me can't. I mean, me chimia. Okay. But at your point, but so mumu. At your point, but so mumu say, what would you do differently from what the general is doing? I mean, per se, I be say me compare. No, so I be onu waya na from udia. And you know, I be ni 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 say you be doing kunim. And your competition, so I must say. Yes, oh, Baba, yeah, why, yeah, you've been here, Papa, obey, obey, to us. And then, yes, Nippon, oh, now, Waba, and it's obey, it be different, different, I could see, say. You can say your pink could him be wine, no bit to me, a mouse tongue could him be an abba. Maybe I drew a party, Rollins in New York, Captain Chickat, and New York, a professor, I wouldn't know, and Penny Fonny be brave, oh, my, I'm right. Wine, no bit to me, a so party. New generation for a Facebook way, which you mean, I understand their language. 
So I can say, meet me in a grass to say, Dinky Taho. It may make Kanye a bit to me. I am to say, sir, all it is near experiences, no, and no, and a bit to me, I'm a party, no, about power. Now, a tearful no about come a question about Kosun, you say, I unravel. Say, NDC seems to have a lot of pool of skills and knowledge. Uh, but they lost the last elections. And on refreshing, you know, what is the learning from the elections loss? The learning is a name of a was a yeah, you know, I was here, shall see and So I just said, and no near the amid me, I was here, shall see and double. I mean, to be going to details. And I say, whether we like it or not, unfortunately, you know, MPP for no. I'm going to trust them. I know your major problem is election. Yeah, you name say yeah, we need parliamentary seats. The chima and the Abu Budi in na. I'm on the extra four near the airport to two. April from four. And I'm in Oka. Say, nipa ngot train e wuye. In this election, e bin see da. It is an ebano. Na no no sabi anya in this in kwa. Osi a koswa e kamwa sam. Na mu media for a so for a diplomatic call near the na idea not to say bear. Sadie and Sibium, the Nunchina, Omo Maya Samia Mosam, a was a Emrano New Mudi, so be a bear deterrent to others. San Cobanesa, let us say, a foot to a drama and cough on say, Master Mel Copoling Station, be on Copon Kumu, and your old quack of Wabwa, and Persia by Connexa. Yang and Dissino, Constitution, a over nineteen ninety two Yang at the by. It should be Biano, a man for Castle and DC, Cecilia, a monk. Yeah, yeah, cool. And a revolutionary party. And the entire net of yeah, you know, we are restrained. And they said, if the revolution move, yeah, who would you And now, you name on my 1992 constitution, democracy, yeah, yeah, they buy a second, Ghana, democracy, the two point, yeah, yeah, they buy it. And the idea I will break out the ones that see, and all my own person. Be a best seller, but I know so anxious we take advantage now and no tea. Let's say, DPR no per se, we see you and answer, or your name be an senior and then fatter. Twenty twenty, me see an atom, but twenty twenty four, a bomb pie, a mem pie, I'm a bonus, twenty twenty four, my bon summon that do be a senior mom, yeah, yeah, Tom form good dear no, on which me a half of my day is not going to happen. I won't go any further. So saying that, you know, that means what you are saying, Emra Eye Juma Ukronum then. Because if you are saying this, yeah, what you are trying to say is that NDC did not lose or lost the election. Mimi Abema, we a media man. The men that know what is a gun, I have got to a bar, Nippon Motri, Yabo Mutu, what you are baby that. Even Rollins to cry, I say, Sabio Yusujani, what say, baby? Say, ye have got two abba. Now you come in the part of Chiman, what will you video on Washada? You had the two puny 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 and the air bomb hook, say maybe near Chamono. Your bomb by any a person dre, your pen cost war, your person money two pound, and nothing I a buy, a yam pun to Juma, open pun to Juma, or Pesa, or my new mood war. And then so in six years, it will not happen the second or the third time, and then they may come will be at us here. Now, I won't say your share, Honorable, you heard the MPP presidential race now. He's been keenly contested by Trade Minister Alan Kojo Chiramatin and the Vice President Dr. Ba 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 uh, uh, Baumia with Agriculture Minister Dr. Usuefriye Akutu and now Kennedy of Japan. Comparing the skills, the pool of skills of the aspiring presidential candidates of MPP and the NDC uh, with John Mama. PPP, Spark or Sindhum, more likely, and other political parties. Who would you consider the best person to move Ghana forward, and why? That's a question, yeah. 
Almost almost trauma, which is a academic now question. We now, I mean, sebi sebi. They say, and what is the pool of skills? I compare, and you'll be a mean, I'm a guy, I am able because I'm here. MPP skills are more and NDC skills are more. Which one will help Ghana? Skills are being chairman skills in America. I've now someone I will come into the question. I say. Skills are being said by me and pro skills. Second, I said, and pro, and I said, Yeah, yes, yes, chef, but I ain't so. Eh, it's about me, I yet to see castles now come the on and another doing it. It's a borrowing is a lazy man's approach to government. Eh, we must move the country from a taxation to production. Any and there, any and there, it's the enormous skills. No. Now, okay. I'm to Alan Germantin. Now, Alan Germantin, no, 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 I'm buying a cup, I'm buying a mobile. I'm free, baby, no, I'm not part of this MPP government. Yes, it costs you a moment. You know, a hotch, Nick, bad governor say, I've been in a nipa, you come on. Alan is part of it by a member of cabinet. It don't mean you know, free. And I am saying, so I can't be the other say, oh, near cost to a mobile, you know, a way to a man for us to a man by a moment to me for us. Oh, you're part of the government. Why you doing when we are to Why you not your only way to be now over because what do you have been while part of cabinet? They are not to me. A free uncle to plant for food and jobs or say a friend saying a fertilizer, no, a food punk or a fertilizer, no, or booking and only skills. Okay, let's let's talk about something more serious, Mr. Wa. Minimum sama eba for serious program ni eh comedy show na eba. Yo, anabu. Enti yate. Um Oh, Nanado. Express say recently uh, express confidence in the government uh, recent strategies aim at reviving the struggling economy. The government intends to use the revenue from e levy to help reduce the high public debts and job creation to reduce the huge uh, youth unemployment burden. Do you think, in your uh, view, you know, e levy you know, is the way forward for reducing national debt and also creating jobs for us as a country? Okay. Before I make point to e levy, say, and commodity be announced. Oh, discuss it now. I'm placing it in the proper context. I said, Now, but can I enter a sum? Scratch, I said, It makes you say, Yes, you know, who question the process of a year discussing the economy. Let's go into the economy. The context of the economy is a Ghanaian economy in the Senate here. Okay, now answer an MPP for ever banner. No, see. NDC, the Jibusian Dodo, the Bobusian Sa, and also Dodo. Now, Cecilia, even before I come to the debt, Cecilia, no, who will be describing the state of the Ghanaian economy? Mm -hmm. Number one, a high fiscal deficit. IHSF, a Kanabura was a car, yet here in terms of in terms of a twenty loans, I yet here in the sky, in any car, you know, who's the Sia, and so on. Inflation, the rate of such a near border control. No, I'm kind of inflation reports by inflation at all high in the history of Ghana over bare 20 years. BC that's say inflation 23 percent. Our food inflation, Dr. Juan Juan and I, Ubo Nidi, you know, food inflation quite 26 percent. Public debt now, you wanna from Emrana, you wanna buy, you wanna buy from Kwame Nkrumah to President Mahama time. Planet that one people for better to you know, a 120 billion. That 120 billion, no, so, uh, yeah, kind of debt to GDP ratio. Let's say out of every hundred cities, yeah, I mean, I need to yeah, yeah, personal, no, 65 between 65 to 67 percent. And if it was a month later, a kind of also do a yabota and a meanwhile, sa bosiana from Nkuma to Mahaman, you were near my elite media actually. Schools are schools, hospitals are hospitals, airports are airports, roads are roads, insure, insure, and canyon, canyon. 
with our bossy and Nigeria, any other soil would do so. I raise the generation capacity from 2,500 megawatts to 5,000 megawatts. And no near the start to see some he blocks in now across the country. Even near this investor of Ghana Medical Center, Maritime Hospital, any hospitals say you see see all across the country. And near the airport, near the airports, near the in our we have something to show. Now now Dubai, almost less than six years, Bosnia and Omo amount to three hundred and eighty billion Ghana cedis. Let you say a door so chain a buying enough from Nkrumah to President Mahal. Who is on the day on the day? I'm the free SHS. We want free SHS now every year. It doesn't cost us over seven billion. It is a car no way. No, 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 you see, custom no, I tell you, I'm a pressure. I'm not a pressure. I'm a better you see the no so. I'm not in a city no airport down, 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 down. And I'm a normal bro, airport stroke every day. Cost of living, airport high. I think, sir, no, be you can say what you set mass real something. Please, I'm not sure. You are, please, can you stop talking? I don't know how you managed to get it. Yeah, Mr. Ojai Kassan. Why? Just mute yourself, please. I'm not about to, sorry. We're not sure how he managed to get that. Christiano, your debt service obligation and you by 500%. Matter, and you 100%, and you 200%, and you 300%. 500 percent and man not yet by the future 2016 now now your debt service obligation and your 10 billion Ghana cities and now I'm in Okasa 2022 your debt service obligation I'm going to do 50 billion it's a sick as criminal I say I take it up and some apart from that you know say a car over castle and this is for NECA and this is for NECA if we are seeing a way if we are seeing a way you know you will from churches to China, almost like we are seeing, or maybe any sick as also. UK dear, almost like America dear, almost like Germany, almost like Belgium, all over the world, almost like Ghana dear also. From a a independence, almost like I'm the reports never every day. So could we, but could the Fitch, but could the Standard Report, but could the Moody's, ratings are more than you know. Edit the second as they say a sick as them now. I just hear Pansam, I'm at just yeah, come on, a quack of Bobusia. Only to me, fine because so many GD where you move, sir. Your Bobusiana, you beat me, Etchia. It's a fetch, Moody's standard and poor, almost downgraded. We are getting this before Nacon. Our economy has been downgraded by all these international rating agencies. Mm -hmm. Inflation, I'm a kind, 23%. Food inflation, 26%. Transport first, Nasia, and caught up by 20%. Water company also might be increasing in sugar risk by 334 percent. Electricity ever be cost by 148 percent. So I can say in the midst of all this, a binan kasa office of the president, office of the president, almost increasing on a budget from less than one billion Ghana cities. Ah, to we almost they call three billion Ghana cities. Tax to waha, tax to waha, tax to waha. Only businessmen kasa. Tax ni kuno amo. It's in the midst of all this. No, I'm sorry, I'm going to let you know. Now, Momo, no, you won't say. I did a abba, first of all, no. I'm a man, you might be free. I'm going to be free. I said, you know, I'm going to be free. 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 I feel so. I'm on foot to miss any of Musica at the call. A common with me on the idea. And no, na buying set or barbage of one tax. And I even say, I buy several year two big car. I want a German one. I take a tax that. It's a moment now, barbage of one tax. And then I buy why you are open or John tax. The answer, Musica will put on cash. Now, what you call Tadia, who can tax. No moment, sir, will phone no so dear. Oh, transfer a mobile. Ah, say be a old person send me thousand cash. What do you want me to do? The bring me cash at the end yet? Me to tax. No more say electronic. They are me to tax. And apart from that, no. The part two do one. I say, see, can I get three? Me and Bema. 
to improve trade and business near the shenya man or send you say in those who say genuine near ludo near the abba since because of momo every week you be a 10 150 52 weeks you be a lot now you get to answer that is the danger of momo na yeka ah yeka mo mbe si yeka oh no na train us a matter calculation and yam nam yam yam wana mo ye so what will be the alternative then because mama say oba over abolition the mpp are but saying it's a scam so yeah. what is the alternative but to the scam now understand you about alternative no i was saying who need to see you have a big true summary more yeah because of government mismanagement of the economy am i saying energy economy need you so i'm going to give you my mama one example it been a set as a house alone Supply the cohort are increasing by 300 percent. So I just said, You were how many ministers? Oh, or memoir. And I say, Quite, it is a minute minister that allowances need to be maintained. That the height allowance, and inconvenience allowance, and night allowance, and also free him. It is a binding mismanage, Sikano, or my Nisika. And now, on one for ministers, they break. And I do not care. Auditor General's report for 2022, 2021. Emma, I have a bemo. 2016, I have a bemo. Auditor General's report, I have a bemo. I have a bemo. It goes through process. It is a scan when to me accounted for. Auditor never here. I will be able to say, Sika, we are to me accounted for. Because I have a bemo. I have a bemo. I have a true control and accountant general system. And we are buying Sika. For NDC, Emmanuel was on. Sika, Auditor General said, unaccounted for, unaccounted for, and said, if you see Canada, you won't see the year, fine yet. And Nancy Sikano, a Nippon spending about one million for a carbon crack damage trade. There are 780 million Ghana cities. And Ukraine is here, Master, for 2020 alone, 2020 alone, we need Sika. It seems like yeah, now and you two billion, uh -huh. billion and you four billion and you seven billion and you eight billion and you ten billion 12.8 billion Ghana cities 12.8 billion Ghana cities and you imagine some guy buying your prudent some commenting is a bill 
yeah yeah they are not going to see any no ah yes ma what they what they are managing to pour up to one billion poor eight thousand billion twelve point eight billion cannot be accounted for how eti abaya manage sikani ye president sorry I don't want to talk about the rejects anabo abaya no eddy 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 Alternatives, the alternatives no man start from the presidency. Only the only the policy number. I know what say embrace accountability. Anabo or the policy number. I know what say one point five. I know say this will help deal with or solve the problem of high national debt and also create jobs. So, what is the alternative for NDC? I think I you see, we're, we're a media person of a very reputable and media house. Um, I said, we own your government spokesperson. It's you know, what's me can't say, or they are back, and uh, what is the alternative? No, it doesn't work that way. I didn't know they are back, I was here analyzed it. My my calculation, I was said, this is the danger. Sir, O Yisika, if you go for bottom. Number two, Sikane Ebano. Talk will be a chair, draw Beno, and a new own silly side to Krono. I will see your friend, your money being come. But just what I say. O Ko Sika, Yadi Yadi, and to me and Kichi jobs, and to me and solve economic problems. Go the Sika, Yadi Yadi, and to me and Kichi jobs, and to me and solve Ghana problems. Makacho said, Abaya Bobusia within the six years, more than any other government from Kwame Nkrumah to JM. But to me and France solve problem. Now, he left, you know, some of you because I said, whichever. Now, we are by dream bar. All the service of Bobu says, I'm going to answer. Because do do no nya ye no ontimi fa anye bibia onye hwe e chese sika we am nya ye we ni we ni we na ontimi de ye ye o sai se fa bi ka me ho na no no e na ba be so go gana problems ni na e da no ada sika pudu a we nya sika ye de ama no abai we e bi nsi ta in the history of this country mo boro 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 ye ka mo se me enka Say Sikana Maboruno, what have you done with it? Where is the evidence? So, Anabu, you are heading towards corruption. Hello. You are heading towards corruption then. So what you are saying, you know, is heading towards corruption. To say, say, because of mismanagement, you know. Even this mismanagement, corruption, omu ni money nimbia aye di bumai. Omu kasa, omu shabokpa, omu timi, omu timi miso. Refuse a by way, answer no beba. Omo ano mo si o se obia ojiji tu obia oso mo jai tu ano o tax you can't tax the country but omi ane kaya you can't tax the people or tax the economy into growth but omi ane kaya tu ane kaya e jo mo ba tax is no ombeti te so tax e i ojiji bo siya na di mo maya a lazy man's approach enti omo no be going to productivity ena mo ba e mo ojiji bo siya che obia now. Your were funds, statutory funds. Oh, my mom, ah. You are set here. You are not a NDC that is set here. NHIS, National Health Insurance, a levy about. Between 2019 and 2021. Oh, my dear, 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 Over 4 billion. And now, I mean, you can say, Oh, my, the health sector, service providers, no. Oh, my, dear, my. No, you stole over three billion. So you ask yourself, where is the money? So they say, cash and carry are back through the back door. Cash and carry has come back to the back door because the providers know. Yes, Mr. Kate Yosin, our chairman for PPP of UK, Obasu of this house, question B. Mr. Yosin, uh, let me make a point, sir. Okay, you are pointing. Yeah, yeah, thank you. I was coming to have a, a debate with anybody. No, District no, no, Assembly no, Common Fund. No, First no, quarter of 2020. And no one on the chair. 2021, on the chair. 2022, on the chair. I buy the car over 4 billion Ghana cities. 
It's a common fund now, and a better than development. Road fund, Oma collect rising road fund, Oma de Oma back payments in Oma Ajibostia, this year, only Adi Omoye, Oma got you 2.2 billion. Meanwhile, after 2019, now contractors, you had the Oma cut 3.6 billion. By now, figure on the cost. Oka contractors who are no move. Contractors who are no move, they are dying, they are getting stroke because Oma cut certificate, you mean to Oma cut. On no any free SHS. Ah, the buyer will be signed. So, we're there now. I also free SHS, free SHS. Almost the suppliers cut over 500 million Ghana cities. Now, seeing the headmasters, no cocky can no more release 200 million at the moment. And yes, uncle schools near Babatum. It's free SHS, not a suffering poor infrastructure, poor management. Will be a two for set free SHS. Yen yen say, headmaster, yeah, 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 Get one or more collateralized Macano energy sector a levy. Yet they buy it, yet they buy for five years. Sabaya, you teach your car and what energy sector. It's not a class. I can know your friend legacy debts. Almost see, son, let me a nuisance tax. Almost buy it. Up to 2035. 2035. Meanwhile, the energy sector debts no keep going up. Get fund, Ghana Education Trust fund up, and no near digital, near the year infrastructure, near the year. How many called G loan? 10 billion, the so called seven years achieved that chain bond. This is a scanner bar, not just an airport. 80. I've been the most of myself where it's a pity side. Sika wing in now, would they have called a agency who agitated the low sea? And then I'm on the idea. The economy is not improving, and I'm in America. The numbers speak for themselves. The international rated agencies, it speaks for itself. Everything shows that things are going down. It's how do you convince myself? We bring now, you know, only mean for an energy. Not a crown of video, and now it's me. That is the issue. Uh huh. Which gives our question. Thank you, Mr. Um, Kitty Yes. Uh, uh, good evening, Honorable. Good evening, my brother. Uh, and how are you, sir? Very well. Thank you very much. You mentioned something, and I was there was of uh, good concern about the deficit in the, the, the auditor's report. The question mm -hmm. is what steps has the All Party Committee on Finance taken? Oh, the impression is that it is silent in the eyes of the Ghanaian. So what action have we taken in Parliament to address that issue? Because it's a very, very serious problem for all of us Ghanaians, not party politics. I want to know, okay. because you are in Parliament, so if you can ad address us, what... Uh, okay, you okay. I, I'm not in Parliament. I'm not, a not party uh, no. official, no. Yeah. but very relevant question. So what is happening is that these are some of the audit findings that the then Auditor General, uh, Dr. Daniel Domelevo, was uncovering. And the government was not comfortable with him because they would have preferred that Dr. Domelevo would have covered these things up. And that is why they sacked him unceremoniously. I'm sure you know about the yes, events. I've that spoken about Dr. it. Yes, you're right. I've spoken sacked, about it. Was I sacked see. from office and office was blocked in a very unceremonious manner because mm -hmm. Dr. Demolovo, and if you recall the specific incident, that there was a certain um, contract which had been um, um, offered or given to somebody illegally, and Daniel Demolovo insisted that the company be surcharged. And then the uh, senior minister, who was very frontal in her whole enterprise, took offense, and that led to the orchestration for his removal. So there's a, um, a finance committee in parliament. The finance committee, what they can do is, and, and what they do is to call for public hearings, and these things will be heard. That is what they can do. So they will throw lights on it, and then in the form of transparency. But the issue is about the government. The government's commitment to the judicious use of our resources. If the government is not committed to judicious use of our resources, it's a profligate government. And a government that 
people who call for accountability become targets like Dom Robo, what signal then are you sending? And, and if I want to, I'll, I'll, I'll be going into corruption. But it's a government that benefits from corruption. If I plans corruption, benefits from corruption, and endorses corruption, and anybody who tries to fight corruption, they will fight you or kill you. So that is the nature of the situation we have. The minority will do their best. I'll give you another example. You recall this whole issue about the COVID, COVID funds. So our side in the house raised issues. Now, when you raise issues about what is going on in the country, um, the first thing MPP will tell you is that, well, it was due to COVID. Now, we're saying that that is a deception. They'll say COVID, and then now they say Ukraine. But that is a deception because this particular government benefited rather from the COVID situation. What happened is that the multinational agencies gave Ghana so much money within that period. We received almost 33 billion Ghana cities within that period. At that time, the projections of our revenue shortfall was about 12 billion. But because of COVID, the World Bank, for instance, IMF, Stoke IMF, I put them together because they are cousins, gave us 430 million US dollars. Sir, are you aware that government initially declared only 100 million US dollars? This is public, a matter of public record. And it had to take the IMF or the World Bank to come out publicly to say, we gave you $430 million before they came out to say, oh, yes, 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 yes. We were actually given $430 million, and that $300 uh, uh, million uh, was meant to be used for uh, other projects. But initially, they did not disclose in the spirit of transparency to Ghanaians that they had been given $430 million, million dollars. That we took... Um, uh, 10 billion or so from the um, Bank of Ghana. Um, AFDB, African Development Bank, also gave us about uh, 100 billion, 100 million dollars. Cumulatively, in CD terms, the money that came to Ghana was 33 billion dollars for COVID. Now, Ghana did not experience the kind of COVID that European countries experience. The lockdown was just for about six weeks. And it was only in Accra and some parts of Ashanti region. My brother, this government claimed that they bought PPEs and plastic bags worth 600 million Ghana cities. Can you imagine? And they fed people also virtually the same amount. And so our side in parliament said, no, let's have an independent committee to investigate all this. Code. Don't forget that there was all this COVID Sputnik you know, um, purchase and all that, where the minister said he was in a porous mental state and all that. All these were avenues for corruption, stealing, and siphoning of state money. So the modus of brandy of the MPP is not to bring development to the country, but is to look at every opportunity as an opportunity to mold the state. So if this is the disposition of the government, all the opposition has to do is to continue to shine light on it. So we will continue to do our best. I recall again, when that matter came up, Joe Osei Usu, when he was in the chair, threw it away that it wasn't necessary. So they don't like transparency. So that is the reality of what we have to deal with. And that is why the solution is to kick this government out. My brother, look, you can look at all the sins of the NDC. This country is on the verge of collapse. I am not the one saying it. I am not Moody's. I am not Fitch. I am not Standard & Poor's. The reports are there. They speak for themselves. Now, when it comes to governance, it's a completely different kettle of fish. 1992 Constitution, Rawlings the Revolutionary, he came into power. We had a free media environment. There were a few lapses here and there. Come the year 2016, the so-called human rights advocate comes to power. The first thing is that is to close down radio stations, including that of uh, Dr. Papu Sindum, whom he thinks are not friendly to him. Okay? Then they go ahead and begin to target media 
personnel and media houses that they deem not friendly to them. So Ahmed Shwali is murdered in cold black. And did I hear your host say that a character who was named in the murder of Ahmed Shwali says he wants to be a presidential candidate of this country? So you see how low we have sunk as a country? Somebody who has accusations of bloodshed on his hands, from J.B. Dampa to Ahmed Swale, who is the one who put Ahmed Swale's picture on screens and told people, when you meet this guy, beat him. You can beat him and come to me for money. And the guy was shot in cold blood. Today, nobody has been brought to book. J.B. Dampa's murder is outstanding. Talk about Caleb Kuda, Rambo style, arrested, slapped, beaten. Talk about Manasseh Azui. Manasseh wrote skating things, even about me. About President Mahama. He was never chased out of this country. Under the so called human rights advocate, today Manasseh had to run for his dear life. The list goes on. Look at what happened to Bobby Ansar. He gets out of his, his studio and in Rambo Star, people in plain clothes, they just should hijack him. Look at what happened to Baka Voma. So it's a deliberate strategy by this regime to put fear in people. So you meet people, you meet media people, they know the truth, but they are afraid for their lives. But that is why I disagree with them, because media practices are calling. You could have chosen to be a banker. You could have chosen to be any other profession. You chose to be a media person. Your primary duty is to serve the society and to speak the truth and expose government when they go wrong. Now, some of the strongest critics of this government are serving on boards, are serving as CEOs in various capacities. And when you hear them speak, you want to puke. Recently, when the US State Department report came on the human rights situation in Ghana, I was dumbfounded and appalled when I heard the executive secretary of the National Media Commission. And this is somebody that I've followed a long time. Those days when Colin was in power, advocating for media rights and justice and freedom and everything. And the gentleman was asked, what do you make of the report? Because the report says that there is media tyranny in the country. Media people are being harassed and people are afraid for their lives. You know what he said? Well, you know, um, it, it could be true. But media people too should be careful. Uh, they must be more responsible. Really? Yeah, what do I have work for? Really? So assuming, without admitting, that media people are irresponsible, you are saying that they deserve to be killed? They deserve to be murdered? So, we, this, I'm, I'm sorry I have to say this, but the truth of the matter is that Nana Akufwado is a fraud. He has been sold to us as so-called media advocate and everything, by, by his actions. It is under the same man. I, I was so West Wagon. My brother, it was as if I was watching a movie. Anabu, I, I, I want to ask something here because you, what okay. you are saying is Nanado is a fraud. However, yes. the MPP blames the NDC for creating a mess over the years which has affected yes. the job market. The MPP okay. and Baumia uh, recently reported that they are satisfied with their jobs creation initiative with 1D, 1F, planting for food and jobs, and other initiatives will be able to clear the challenges the young people are facing in the job market. This is what they are saying. So they are blaming. They are in turn also saying things to say, oh, it was difficult for them, and that is why Ghana is in where we are. Okay. All right. Thank you. So, you know, when we left office, mm -hmm. the IMF and the World Bank and other rating agencies projected that 2017-2018 was going to be a very good year for Ghana because of the oil fine. Remember that when President Mahama was, before he left office, he had invested so much in the oil sector. When we were in office, we were getting revenue from the oil sector from only one well. And the cumulative revenue we got, I don't think it was up to even 5 billion Ghana cities. Nana Ado, by the because of the investments that we had done in the clean fields, okay, when he took office, within the, the, the first four years, he had earned over 20 billion Ghana cities. He didn't make any investment. You see, let me let me just use this analogy. So you see, the economy 
uh, grew in 2017. All right. Now they take credit for that economic growth, and then the economy for the first half of 2018 that growth continued, and they take credit. Now, if you understand how the economy works, the economy will grow based on the measures you've put in place the previous year. So from January 2017 to the end of January 2017, to, to December 2017, what did they do that brought that turnaround? It was the works that we had done, the investment that we had put in. We left them extra, didn't we? We left them get fun, didn't we? We left them so many funds, the heritage fund and all those. We left all those things for them intact. They are the ones who have come to collateralize it. And then they benefited from the investment that we had made in the sector. When we came, there was a perennial every seven, ten years. We had an energy crisis. Our capacity, maximum capacity, was 2,500 megawatts. Meanwhile, the demand for energy was growing by leaps and bounds every year. President Mahama vowed that he was going to fix the problem. And indeed, by the time he left office, by his investments in America, car power, ship, etc., that capacity grew to 5,000 megawatts. Double capacity. For which today they are saying excess, and I'll come to that. Those were investments that were made. So what is it, what, what is it that we did that uh, 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 they are claiming we messed it? They are the ones who came with high valuation promises, said all kinds of things, and today, they are not delivering. How can you, so assuming without admitting that we were not managing things well, you claim that within 18 months, you transform the economy. No, so. They said within 18 months, they were going to transform this country. Yet it's the castle, not common day. So obviously, they, they were supposed to have known what they were coming to do. Now you've been in power for six years, and you are still blaming a government that left power six years ago, for your inability to govern. Beyond that, the, all the international rating agencies, and indeed, when you talk about measuring the economy, it's not what I say, what you sure. say, or what Baumia says, or what Nanado says, or what anybody says. These, there are international benchmarks for measuring the progress of a country, the economy, the social sector, etc. All these indices, these are facts. You can't run away from it. When inflation is high, inflation is high. It's 23% plus. Food inflation is 26%. It's a fact. You can't run away from it. When your debt to GDP ratio is hitting 84%, it's a fact. That means that out of every 100 cities, 84 cities is used to pay debts. It's not sustainable. And we were warning you. We were doing 64, 65, 66. Cities. You said, hey, it's not. so on what basis then would you say that we were the ones who messed up? So, yes, I know that you have to ask the questions, but when they tell you those things, you have to ask them because it doesn't add up. It doesn't add up at all. Now, the biggest danger we face is that this MPP government has become a threat to our democracy. Okay? 1992 went into constitutional rule. Ghana's democracy, everybody is talking about it globally. It is because of the kinds of institutions, independent institutions that we put in place. Incidentally, my master's thesis I wrote on the challenges of consolidated democracy in West Africa. And I use Ghana and Nigeria as case studies. So I'm very passionate about our democracy. When you have independent state institutions who are functioning to their, uh, to their maximum, and functioning independently, you can be sure that your democracy is guaranteed. But when these state institutions become compromised, then you are posing a threat to your democracy. Because these institutions are meant to serve as checks and balances so that people know that they can resort to them or revert to them anytime that they find themselves in a country. And I am sorry to say that one of the entities that is gradually losing. And again, this was in the US State Department report. Their authority, independence, impartiality is a judiciary. I revere justices, judges. I have a lot of reverence for them. <laughs> I spent one semester in in, in Law School before I was given this appointment. I had to leave. And within that one semester, the kinds of things I needed to read. So if somebody managed to go to law school, 
practices law for 20, 30 years, is called to the bar, the bench, and becomes a judge, especially of the highest court. He deserves all the, the respect and, I mean, everything. Relax. But there is respect that comes with position and title, and there is respect that is earned by conduct. Some of the judgments of our Supreme Court these days, they just do not make sense. People don't want to talk about it, but we have to speak about it. For example, Ghana is the only country, only country in the whole world that does not recognize the birth certificate as a means of identifying a citizen. The whole, I'm talking about globally. And yet, our Supreme Court tells us that the Ghanaian passport, which is a secretary document, that came out of the birth certificate, that one, you get, can be recognized. I mean, what kind of absurdity is this? So when judges who are supposed to make laws and interpret laws and give us judgments, that would, that makes sense, that would bring the, the, the polity, you know, give them some comforts. Now, when they have a case and they go there, issues should be judged dispassionately. And you go and have this kind of absurd judgment. And we say, you say we shouldn't talk about it. It is an absurd judgment. It doesn't make sense. Honorable. It doesn't add up. Um, we want to talk about unemployment. You, for example, with the judiciary, Sorry. I beg you, it's important. Yo. We went you. to court with a petition after the elections. Mm -hmm. I recall our judges filed two um, uh, reliefs. One, they said they wanted the inspection of documents. And then two, they wanted um, uh, interrogators. They, they, they had a number of questions, I think 13 questions to ask the Electoral Commission. When we filed those reliefs, or applications, I don't know the right uh, terminology. The judges, and I was there, each one of them, without fail, told us. I was looking at them. They said, oh, you wait. When it comes to time for cross-examination, you will be given the opportunity. And came for cross-examination. And the same judges looked in our face and said, well, you know, uh, she's not a compelable witness. Really? A public officer. The electoral commissioner is the sole return officer for the presidential elections. We go into an election, the electoral commissioner declares results. The first result, when you calculate, is over 100. 100%. She makes a correction, that correction is under 100%. She makes another correction, consider five different declarations. And I just say, this persona will not be brought to the knock to answer questions. So if you do that, and we know that when we have an issue and we go to court, we will not get justice. What do you expect us to do in the next time? Um, Honorable. Yes. Our viewers want um, to find out from the clearing of banks. Banks, you know, mm -hmm. clearing. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Okay. And the Bank of Ghana put the total cost of its cleanup operation of banks now at a total cost of over ten point ninety eight billion. No, it's which not is, correct. It's uh, ten point nine ten ten point nine billion, which is oh, uh, two point one billion dollars. Let's no, it's not. It, it's twenty five billion. The records we have, they spent twenty five billion Ghana cities. Twenty five to okay. fix the bank case. Yes. Okay. Have we, as a country, benefited from um, spending over 2.1 billion from clearing of the banks? Will the clearing of the banks help our future as a country? Okay. Because what they say. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What okay. is so, what the MPP is saying? This is a way forward in terms of for businesses and also for the future. Okay. So. Every country goes through those kinds of crises. You recall that in the US, they had a banking crisis. And um, when they had that crisis, what did Obama do? Obama did not close them and shut them down. What he rather did was to put in place a mechanism to support them to come back. So that when they came back, then they will pay back um, the uh, money that was given to them to support them. Because he recognized that once you touch the banking sector, you're going to touch the livelihoods of not just the owners of the banks, the workers in the banks, but the millions of people who depend on the bank for mortgages, for credit, for loans. And critically, 
in our context, it also affected the uh, SMEs, small and medium enterprises. So the savings and loans and uh, all these uh, microcredit institutions, they were all affected. And per our projections, we were going to, we, were, we projected that we will spend 9 billion Ghana cities to fix the banking sector crisis. Now they came and then spent 25 billion. How do you spend 25 billion to solve a 9 billion city problem? Now, I don't know if you've heard of the EJAPA, EJAPA document. That is the first one, which is a leaked document from the Danko Institute that stated the things that they needed to do to consolidate power. So on the surface, they will tell you they wanted to reform the banking sector, et cetera. The true motive is that they wanted to control the economy. And then they had targeted certain people. Dr. Dufour was one. Park Sindhu was one. Beige Capital was another. Kofia Mwabe was that. Look, the true story of what actually went on in the banking sector will be told one day. And people will be held accountable. That you look at somebody like the, 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 the Park Sindhu, who was opening branches, employing people all over the place. because you go open bank account with zero nothing okay and then the insurance that you had attached to it you look at all these other banks you know and the kinds of things they were doing take uh, uh, unibank for instance government of ghana was going unibank that was why unibank's reserves were going down pay them government of ghana pay them once you pay them they will have the liquidity to meet the threshold you did not pay them and then you go and close the bank Take the one, um, 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 let's just say, do our, our okay. viewers, one of our viewers want to know if, say, the NDC was aware of the problem and why didn't they do it? Of course, of course, we were aware, and that is why we projected that we were we will spend nine billion to recapitalize them, okay? And then, of course, we went into an election and we lost power, so the new government came. And ostensibly to solve the problem, they used 25 billion to solve the problem. But I'm saying that that 25 billion they used was a cover up. The real motive was to take control of those sectors of the economy. That is the real motive today. <laughs> so I'm saying the true story will be told at the appropriate time and people will be held accountable. So it was targeted at certain people like Paco Sindhum, Dr. Dufour, Beige Capital, and all those other people. It was deliberate to take the banks away from them so that they will not have, they will not control funds. So that Data Bank will become one of the most powerful banks. How much, what were the assets of Data Bank before Ken Ofriata became finance minister? Are you forgotten that this same Ken Ofriata used the MPP party headquarters as collateral to go and borrow money? And that was one of the reasons why uh, Kwabne Japan and Afoko were suspended because they raised issues about it because they didn't have the authority to do that. Have you forgotten all those things? So Kenoforiata was not a rich man. He was borrowing money left, right, and center to fund his uncle's campaign. Today, his data bank is one of the most liquid entities in this country. How did that happen? And these are things that we must be talking about. What is happening in this country is completely unacceptable. It's insane. I call it political incest. It's like sleeping with your daughter or your mother. Anytime we go for loans, we go for these euro bonds, can Uforiata's data bank, and then the minister of state, Charles Edubwai, they are companies, data bank and Gokos, whatever, whatever. They are the financial transaction advisors to the finance ministry. So the benefits any time we go for a euro bond. Can you imagine if it was in the NDC time that Sir Tepe and his deputy, eh, Ato Forsen, any time we go for loan, their companies benefits. And Ghanaians are quiet. I don't understand. These are things we should be talking about. Ken Ofriata must resign. He must be sacked. Because he is benefiting directly. That is why they keep on going for the bonds. We want them. Look, you are, the, the debts are becoming unsustainable. They will not listen because he benefits directly. It is political incest, economic incest. And he must be called to account. Sedra Gogo's bank, Heritage Bank. Yes, I remember the name. Heritage Bank was the most liquid bank. I'm told it had a liquidity of over 800 million. 
Because the, the purported reason for withdrawing the lines that's of banks that they were not meeting the capital threshold. So you go to Heritage Bank, he has more money. The only reason why you are withdrawing his license is that he has a case in court. But you forget that the bank is different from the individual. He's a promoter of the bank. The bank as Heritage Bank is a different entity from him. In any case, he has a case in court. He has not been found guilty. By our common law, a person is innocent until proven guilty. Then you go and withdraw them. So what happened to all their money? 800 million. One day, people will be called to account. These things cannot happen. It is unfair. So they came to steal, to grab. Now, you see, when you are doing the analysis of our current situation, and you don't contextualize and place Nanado and his henchmen in the proper in the proper perspective, you'll be wasting your time because you'll be going around and around and around in circles. You must define them properly for who they are and what they are. One, Nanando is somebody who had a childhood dream to become president at all costs. It was a dream. It wasn't a dream that was backed by any solid vision of transforming the country. It was just, yes, I have to be president at all costs. Okay? Then two, he had his few henchmen, family, and French people who feel that they were entitled right from Nkrumah time. They've always had that complex. They were entitled. They are supposed to be the rulers of this land, and they've been denied opportunity. So now that they've gotten the opportunity, they must really, really mock and recover all that they've lost over the years. So if you don't understand that, motivation and drive and psychology it will be very difficult because you will be spending your time doing all kinds of analysis and this is who they are and what they are that is why some of the things happening it doesn't make sense if you want to look at it from a rational point of view how for example can somebody who has 800 million dollars this liquidity in his bank and you are closing down banks because you say they don't make, meet the threshold somebody has over and above and yet, you still go and close him down. Why? So that you take over the bank and sell their assets cheaply to yourself and your colleagues. Um, Parkos Indum. Uh, Honorable Parkos Indum, one of our viewers, and he was a program, and I believe he said, But your viewers, because of time, and he was a pursuit of find out. And this is something that in the UK and other parts of the world, Ghanaians in the diaspora no, wants to talk about, say, Oh, um, what the MPP is saying is that the rate of unemployment you know, was so high during the Mama administration. And, and then the Mama then came out and said uh, it's, it, that the government had no sustainable plan to address the unemployment that continued to flood the country. So, and then the MPP is saying, this is where the UK come in, and they, they are saying, sir, um, the... They responded by saying, "Say, Mama, talking about unemployment, you know, it's like Lucifer preaching to Christ to repent." And what is your views? I believe you know about this story. What is your views about that? Because a lot of people are saying, "Say, since they said that, you know, there's not been any response about that." Say, it's like Lucifer preaching to Christ to repent. You see, um, the MPP, they are using a certain communication strategy. You need to understand that to deal with them. Um, if I told my producers, no more interest, uh, shaggy new way wasn't me. So, here we are, near more five. Yo, you're very good. Yeah, you really say, see, I would have a cost. So, yeah, you have a wasn't me, no, a year, a new man, shaggy boy, but what is behind that, you know, a year, certain communi communication strategy, yeah, I, yeah. Propaganda of deniability. So, what is that song? Sebi Sebi, Obi Koto, Obi Se, Oni Neire, Ewo, in the sofa. Ah, Sebi, Oye Ni Oye Juma. Ya Chu, Fili Fili Kadochi. Sebi, Obema, Yojina So, Ni, 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 Philosophy be a chess of who they are at Tono, the Koswani, the Atonasa, who they are Tonasa, a man for Bejedi. But we've gone beyond that. 
We are in an era of social media. We are in an era people have advanced. You can't get away with those things again. So what I said. Eighty seven and seven of Mukano. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we are better. Uh, and on the other side, you know, and now he, he caught me on the sofa. Wasn't me. <laughs> de, 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 de. Wasn't me. Feel it, feel you, yeah, true. Or say it wasn't me. <laughs> eh? And someone more came in. Uh, okay, what they are funny say? You don't want to believe NDC. Will you not believe the IMF, the World Bank, Standard and Poor, Fitch, Moody's, US State Department reports? Come on, what a, a media report. Won't you believe all these independent entities? Won't you believe them? So you don't believe the NDC. Fine. These are independent entities, sir. If it's to me, no more analysis. I'm not no more position. The analysis no more so. Someone will say we are self and now. And now, the bemono. Yeah, yeah, what bemono. For instance, if you take the media, our ratings, no, not a that we were about a 20. The, the worst a we got was 20. Oh, the court 60. You have failed. Admit it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we are We left you funds. We left you three, three oil fields. We left you so many things, school buildings that were going up. Mostly in the idea. Okay. It's near tomorrow. Mumbai is six years near now. Show us. You can show us all the indicators are showing that you are failing and failing and failing. The country is sinking and sinking and sinking. Corruption. This is the only government. Excavators. It's me too. Hey, right? And not in 2020 in our manifesto, the car said, you have the one million Ejumapa projects ever. For the four years, every year, we will create 250,000 sustainable jobs. Free TVX combined with National Apprenticeship Program. Yadeba, Ebeboa, Ama, Memruna, and Yajuma, and Yajumaya. We are coming to create a 24 hour economy. Sebeya, Nietzsche, Mukumo, Etumpo, one of the reasons they said, more of virtual 24 hour economy. Eighty for the 12 hours, no, and for Yajuma has productivity. Another 12 hours, and for Yajuma has productivity. Those are some of the ideas in Niyama. So I can say, Eti Moma Babemo, Mona Mosia, say, A over Jebosia, A you are going to move the economy from a Deben Deben to taxation to production, and then a tax, Yamin Amni, Mumu, and he taxes here, taxes there, taxes everywhere. I want to show all men, you know, Satyor is so okay, you know, at the end of the day, go on the street and do a voice for ordinary Ghanaian self. What do they feel? Go and ask the graduates who are sitting home for years or Omuni Ejuma. It's Omuni Ejuma. Kasabi Bribini, you know. I was said, said the President Mahama Khan, finance minister, and I was saying, if we want to have a headway, because what do you mean? That on one day, the NSA, the Yanko Jibosia, the Yanko Jibosia, the Yanko Jibosia, the company, the Data Bank, the Yanko Jibosia, and the Charles Dubai, the Yanko Jibosia, the Yanko Jibosia, the Yanko Jibosia, and now, the Bosiana Meneyam, as you say, Yaji Yatua. We have to borrow. And Yama Miensa, any Diganesica, yeah, 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 and go for a salaries, pensions near there. And Sana, a ye, um, um, funds there with an Ubamuncia. So I guess, yeah, and Sana debt service. And look, I just say, Sam Bobosian view. It's Yaji Tua now. I just see a sample boost of 40 percent at the count. I mean, what kind of economy is this? And then you have the nerve to say, say, you, you are doing well, and Naomi and Alan want to come and do what? They are part of cabinets, the higher decision making. Oh, my ideas there. One district, one factory, no more can uh, uh, be in a local cottage industry. Now, 
If you are by force, oh, eh, yeah, yeah, by Joe factory, no, no, one money look. Eh, you a sugar sugar factory this way. Didn't the president say that a sugar will come on stream in April? We are in May, and then the thirteenth May, me boy, na, and our president, do you see different calendar? And go ye, things are not going on well in this country. Please, Anabu. the country is sinking by the day. Anabu. Media, security, your poor swale, nothing has happened. Eight people were murdered during this election. Dampare, Obia Bonabaso, Obia Bonabaso. But me, I am not convinced until Dampare is able to deal with those eight people who were murdered. Mr. Any message, one year of that the anniversary of those killings. Mr. Mata, we are waiting for you. You know, my uh, police will be taking statements since they are in Tiffany. Eight people cannot be murdered in an election and they are sitting down and saying, I'm once a No. We want to see action. People must be brought to book. I also was work on your own commission's report. At the end of the the people who did those things, they must be brought to book. Honorable, what can I say? What can I say? You say, um, your studio high, your Mr. Kate Yosin. Ah, normally you do your year program. And uh, Mr. Richard Donko, also representing the Liberal Party of Ghana, on the head of research at UK. Now, I'm going to know, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, Richard, you're going to go first. Why? Thank you. Good evening, Nobu. Good evening, sir. Right. Um, I have listened to a lot of um, the other side of the, um, the bad situation that we are uh, experiencing now from the political and the economic point of view. However, you 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 put you put the um the game very well how you've been able to identify all the problems we've been going through now what is existing what we expect to go through yet however um from from um um, um a neutral point of view about 98 percent of these problems have existed and been carried on from the ndc to the npp now my actual specific question is to you in person you are aspiring to become the new um ndc's um national secretary general secretary mm -hmm. to be precise right mm -hmm. so my question will be to you going forward not what we've experienced over the years and continue to go on we all know exactly what's been going on we are just reshuffling people but the problem still exists between ndc and npp that is a fact everything you said is true however it applies to both parties to be honest um you made mention of um, one thing that caught my mind that has been something I've been arguing about for some time now about the public debt payments to um, uh, regional ministers um, for instance I have been deliberating and um, deliberating on one particular point irrespective of the number of um, ministers a government or a ruling government intends to pick up there is one particular position that is the regional ministry position that has that used to be 10 and therefore we will have the deputy to make it 20 and now we have 16 of them if i'm right so it's 32 positions what in your opinion is the duties and responsibilities in our current political structure what is the duties and the the responsibilities of regional ministers and besides that do we really need them going forward for those expenditures and what is your personal view on it as an aspiring member, um, um, uh, uh, General Secretary. Thank you very much. Okay. Can I answer? Yes, please. Okay. Um, in politics, people are entitled to their views. But one of the things I've observed, why we are here, where we are, is people say they are neutral. How can I be neutral? You cannot be neutral in the face of these atrocities. You cannot. That is part of the problem. Because many horrible things are going on in this country and people refuse to talk. Every human being of conscience, yeah, if you are Ghanaian, the state of this country hmm? must give you cause to worry. So you cannot be neutral in the face of such horrible things. I, I, I respectfully disagree. Number two. This notion that, oh, um, uh, the NDC and MPP are the same and it's a carry on. The facts available do not prove that. The, the facts and data and statistics that lie. When I'm dealing with facts, you cannot make them up. Okay? So, if you have 
a debt to GDP ratio of 64, 65, 66 percent, and you have borrowed a total of maybe 60 or 70 million billion Ghana cities, and you have things to show for it. You've built schools, you've built roads, you've built the airport, you've built the UGMC, you went to Ghana Medical Center, you've built uh, the Maritime Hospital, you've built the Snake Hospital, you've done roads, you've done water all over the country, and all that, you've increased electricity capacity by 100% from 2,500. There is something to show for what you took the loans for. So how can that be compared who, when he was opposi in opposition, was complaining that what you were doing was not sustainable, it was not good for the country. The indices, international indices, and the New York, like, Standard & Poor, Moody's, all those people, the statistics are there, they show that indeed, in this time, things have gotten worse. It's not we saying it. U.S. State Department reports, it is not written by NDC. The records are there, my brother. Eight people have been murdered in cold blood under a so-called human rights advocate. Even Rawlings, so-called dictator. Did you see any, anybody being murdered? Journalists are running helter skelter for their lives. They are being, they are being arrested, they are being chased and, and you know, were put into cells. So the two parties cannot be the same. I reject that notion. It's completely uh, 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 false. And for me, I think that it's Sometimes people who are sympathetic to MPP, but they are finding it difficult to, to come to terms with that disappointment. And therefore, they have to make it look like to, we can never, ever be the same. We cannot. The difference is like the difference between light and darkness. Now, on uh, ministers, indeed, the, 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 from, I was in local government. I think that if we go along with the proposition which we propose, that we should elect our metropolitan, municipal, and district chief executives, then that will call into question the relevance of the regional ministers. But well, they are supposed to coordinate the appointed metropolitan, municipal, and district assemblies in their various regions. That's their job. And these people are appointed, and this is the current system, they are appointed by the government. Therefore, the idea is that you have a regional minister and his deputy who coordinates the activities. Now, they don't even have a budget of their own. I mean, if you look at the numbers, and I don't know if you've taken pains to look at the numbers, it's, it's totally infinitesimal. So I think that when we get to the point where we are able to elect our metropolitan, municipal, and district executives, and we say that they should not be elected on partisan basis. That is where we differ with the MPP. The MPP wants them to be elected on partisan basis. There are various constitutional restraints and so many other issues, security. And if you understand the local government architecture, the way it was designed, because we are a unitary state and we are not a federal state, if you try to introduce that, you are going to run into all kinds of difficulties. And again, our culture and all that. So we are for. Um, electing MMDCs for non-partisan. When that comes, then we need to review the uh, uh, issue of regional ministers. But having said that, it is not the regional ministers. Let's not put the blame on poor regional ministers. It is not the regional ministers who are hiring uh, presidential jets at uh, how many uh, thousands of dollars an hour and showering in the sky. It's not the regional ministers who are doing that. It is a flagstaff house. Three billion. When your budget moves from a, a less than one billion to three billion in an election year, that is where the problem is. When the Auditor General says that in one year, read my lips, I'm saying NDC 2016, our worst performance was 784, 86 million Ghana cities, unaccounted for. We felt horrified. How can you have 786 million uh, Ghana cities unaccounted for? MPP, 2020 alone, money unaccounted for. It's not 1 billion, it's not 2 billion, it's not 3 billion, it's not 5 billion, it's not 7 billion, it's not 12.8 billion unaccounted for. How can these two entities be the same? How can anybody say that they, they inherited this from who? So the facts speak for themselves.
can I? Can I? Yeah. Yes. The next question. Um. Um. Uh, sorry, honourable. Um. 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 I'm sorry, but my question was not answered. As um, it's been it's been twisted. I have. We have people on the on the line trying to find out exactly what um your your um, uh, you intend to say about the regional ministry. The regional ministry I used was used in um in the in the form to make you understand people's idea of the masses, the number of um. The ministers, the government is um, um, the, the, the government of Ghana. Governments of Ghana have been um, uh, uh, dealing with pain. I just use that regional minister as a symbol. Now, what in your your opinion? In your your opinion, I was I'm, I was talking about your opinion as um, an aspirant to make to create difference to 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 assure people of the difference, the changes you intend to um, implement to make sure the um, the, the, the the public budget the, the, the public expenditure is reduced every little will help every little will go a long way to save money here and there in your opinion you've made mention of numerous loopholes numerous corruption activities numerous colluding and colliding activities that is wasting the Ghanaian um, uh, 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 monies and therefore our inability to have um, any uh, proper uh, GDP to show off so, in your opinion, where do you intend to um, make those savings as a party, as, a, as an aspirant? General secretaries are a very huge um, positions in our um, political field. That was actually my question. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. And Honorable, we want to apologize. You have said your power show for this. Say your mouth. This question is here. Mr. Kitty, no, don't worry, don't worry, I'm okay, no problem. We just no, want the program so, to be So let me, let me come back to my friend. My friend, mm. no, first of all, I think there's a little mix-up somewhere. My purpose of going for general secretary is to help my party win power. Anything that I say will be meaningless if my party is not in power. Mm -hmm. So first of all, I want to ensure that we remove this incompetent criminal enterprise of a government. <laughs> huh? That is my priority. When I become general secretary, my priority is to ensure that this government is removed so that when you have a government of the NDC, whose worst, 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 worst performance in terms of managing our revenue was that unaccounted for money, which is not good, was 780 something million. Okay? And then you have a government that Will, cannot account for 12.8 billion, your first priority will be to remove that government, first of all. Your first priority will not be to adjust and patch. This government, the state in which it is, you cannot patch it. There are some clothes. You see, if you have some clothes and you watch them um, and they become very, very soft, the more you try to patch, the more it will tear. The MPP is in such a mess that they cannot be patched. They have to go. I've yeah. answered your question. Yeah. Um, Next. Honorable, so Upon what you are saying, you know, what is your assessment of the special prosecutor then, Kisi Ajaben, since taking up his post? Has he <coughs> addressed the gaps left by Mati Amidu in addressing issues of corruption in our country? I'm happy you've left. You see, some amazing things have happened in this country. And I don't know if it is selective amnesia or collective amnesia. You recall when Martin Amidu was being appointed, <laughs> all the things that the MPP said, he's incorruptible, he's bad, he's bad, he's bad. Great. So they believed in him and they have confidence in him that he is a man of impeccable integrity, incorruptible. Martin Amidu comes, after a while, he looks at the government, he looks at the things they are doing, he looks at the Japan. And Martin Amidu says that the president of Ghana Nana Adodankwa Kufwado is the mother serpent of corruption. I didn't say it though. If I had said you say NDC4, the man that the president himself appointed to deal with corruption, who they hailed as incorruptible, who they hailed as somebody of high integrity, who they hailed as somebody who would ensure that the right thing is done. The man went in there, looked at the system, and said, Look, the problem is not per se, the ministers. The problem is not regional ministers, as my friend wants to believe. The problem is not anything. The problem is the president. 
He is the mother serpent of corruption. He is the one who gives birth to all the other serpents, and then they go and swallow all our golden eggs. What tell me? So if the mother serpent of corruption appointed Matiamidu, what did Matiamidu to cover up the Japa scandal? Matiamidu resigns. The same mother serpent of corruption appoints somebody, whether he is Paul, the, Paul or John the Baptist. Do you think anything can happen out of that? Nothing. Now mark my words. The four years will come. TCI Gabi, he cannot do FOCO because the roots of the problem is the president himself and the crony, and his cronies. All the major corruption scandals that have come in this country, it is around the president and his circle. Why don't you like speaking the truth in this country? It is the president and his candidate. Name them. Every single one of them. You trace her, uh, it goes back to him. So really. So where I mean, do we go as a country? It seems like we, 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 remove, what? we remove the Leonardo and his MPP. That's what we do. But but your, this your, is what you will not have 12.8 billion unaccounted for. That's what you do in a democracy. And but, then we keep on exposing them. We keep on speaking. Journalists, you cannot be neutral. That can't be neutral. You, they are killing your colleagues. They are arresting them. They are torturing them. UN Human Rights Report says this is horrible. Our rankings have gone. You need to do a program the whole day on that. And you say you are neutral? You cannot. You cannot be neutral. When you have a debt to GDP, GDP ratio of 65, 67%, and now it's 84% and going up. Ba Baunia and, and, and Anado, um, and Rabo have said that digitization strategies is helping us in terms of having a Ghana card. They're managing to close down all the gaps. So the people should believe them and trust that as time goes on, things will be get to a stage. Uh, uh, very uh, good. Uh, 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 Masai, Masai. You see, <laughs> I have to restrain myself. Um, <laughs> the person. <laughs> what were you? What were you? What was the What was the other? Just say, oh, 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 Ye be fi abe mo no. Sika ni enti mi mo hon konta no. E ye se me ane den ete milyon gana sidis. E no bani e si e yi. E do so do do. Mo a mo si digitization no. Mo na mo 2020 mo a no. Sika a ye enti mi e mo hon a konta no. E ye 12 billion. E ni e chile po a kwa che. Billion, 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 billion sa du mi e nu. Ye ye di e nu billion ba po. Momo dear, and the digitization, no, you acquire an answer by it. Digitization, no, and ma, a ye, a ye, your friend say, excavate as a two year, no, digitization, and a profound by it. Digitization, no, you say a car, and dear, the way I see corner, over hundred cities are. Your car was in Chia, eighty four cities. Niaka is sixteen cities, and you are the baby to Numa. And the digitization, no, no, and you shine. Digitization, I mean, we are still finding in our group where you see Castle. Ababa Castle, Ghana, you see Castle, Atetia Pansam, Moodsak, Moody Saka, SMP, I can't. One wine, French, I can't. I ain't in our own. Digitization, they say, a petrol near top. They say petrol and goods, they see this. I'm an abroso. Digitization, they say, you see, you know, I think I can't cram it through eight cities. Mo babu si si dino when the different fundamentals are weak, the exchange rate will expose you there. It will digitize this, you know. Who here digitize this? Who are you? And I say digitize this, you know. Who are you? I I I am from Tujuma. I am Bibia. Man, I benefit the Ghanaians. Who digitize this? You say Sika is the bottom. Why other no who are the bottom? And I'm the elem. I'm the biggest can of the bottom. And I'm a moya and counter. So me digital, no project. Let me digital. Let me the call. I boku adam i tamale epo fantos de ba ten thousand afebe suno ne sikari ni na ne seven thousand ashe so digitalization ne kwa ne ba ne yele enti anabo um yekasi eno waha atinze 
Say yes, I share another date. You have a another date. Now, yes, yeah. Now, I already uh, Now, yeah, yeah, continue. So, it, your last word looking at the youth of Ghana, looking at mm. uh, people with disability, looking at people uh, with mental health problems. Oh, collide in them, chrome, any idea. No? What will NDC do differently? And your last word for the program today. You will be the be Hmm. Um, the last words I want to say is that uh, before the MPP came to power, um, apart from those who knew them and their history and who knew Nanado, many people believed them because they had all kinds of, you know, highfalutin slogans and uh, phrases and all kinds of things. You know, they were going to transform the economy in 18 months and all that. And they've come to power. We've seen what they've been able to do. The first four years, they failed miserably. We went into an election. They used violence and intimidation. Eight people have been murdered in cold blood. So Nanado and his cause, they have innocent blood on their hands. And that blood is going to fight them until they leave power. Our country is sinking. All the indicators show that this country is sinking. Uh, debt to GDP, GDP ratio is bad, the economy is sinking, no, the educational sector is sinking, the health sector is sinking, security, judiciary, independent uh, institutions have all been compromised, Our electoral commission, radicalists. So the only way in a democracy is that when a government is not performing, you change the government. We don't believe in violence, we don't we believe in changing government to the constitutional means. And this is time, the time for young people to arise. Don't be neutral. You cannot be neutral in this situation. Because it is your future which is at stake. The loans that have been taken that the Minister of Finance and his Minister of State are benefiting from, it is your generation that will come and pay. Probably by that time, we'll be dead and gone. So you need to rise up, young people. You need to be active in your communities. The NDC is reorganizing at the various branches, get to a branch, register, be active there, support somebody to contest a position, make sure that the branch becomes active, talk to people. We need change in this country. We must move this government out. They are stealing our money. They are messing up. We cannot afford to have them again. And in all these things, it is the arrogance and the contempt with which they treat us. They look in our faces and say, well, it doesn't matter what you do, we'll still win the election. So, Ghanaians, we need to arise. Let's speak out, let's mobilize, let's organize ourselves. Anytime in the coming days, we're going to call on Ghanaians to come out and demonstrate their anger on the streets. It is a legitimate tool and weapon to use in a democracy. Rather than taking up arms, we will rather go out there and demonstrate the street and let our voices be heard. So when the time comes, wherever you are, don't wait for anybody you hear, join, and let's make sure that at least for the next two years and a few months that they will still be in power, we hold them in check so that we will check them out come 2024. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Honorable Elvis Efriye Ankara, former Minister for Youth and Sports in Ghana, and also aspiring General Secretary for NDC. Honorable, yeah, there was a baby, yeah, there was a. The Minister that was the power. There was a power. Me now before me no go and say me balan na ma bere shomo. Mister Neutral, ne senior man. Thank you very much. Have a Thank you. Time. Thank you. Yeah, there was a. Have a good night. Um, okay, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, you have a nice year. Yes, you have a nice year. Thank you. Thank you. Yo, bye bye. Uh, thank you. Um. What is do you have to say about everything that um, Anabu has been saying? What is your final word for it well, before I you go? He, he came to run an, <clears throat> a very impressive and active. <laughs>
Um, having heard from Honorable Elvis Epriyankra and his views about MPP, uh, administration or government, and how things are going for the country. It's like Utigana is so journey. What do you have to say? Um, Mr. Kula, what I have to say is that mm -hmm. uh, it's nothing new that he has said. Mm -hmm. He came to run a very impressive. Is it not party. scary? Is no, not the so. Ghana? no, so of course, yes. I mean, we know what's happening in Ghana now. Mm -hmm. I mean, in the beginning of Ghana, mm -hmm. NPP was accusing Nkrumah of dictatorship. Mm -hmm. Dict they are doing the same thing today. And I thank God that they are doing the same thing. They accuse Nkrumah of. That's NPP. Accusing of dictatorship. Mm -hmm. And the same Nanado warned people or discouraged people from attempting future military takeovers. But they, NPP, introduced coup d'etats in Ghana. We know that. Mm -hmm. Through Buzia, through Afufa and Kutaka. We know that. And uh, the state of affairs here is very pathetic because they charge NDC to be inefficient and uh, whatnot. NDC is now also charging them to be the same. Uh, my message is that a third political party is coming for 2024 general elections. We have tried them. I mean, NDC, NPP is about, about more than 17, about 17 years uh, in government. That's fine. And, 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 and NDC is about 27 years and all that. From PNDC time, to me, you You cannot remove PNDC from NDC. What they did is remove the P. So that is P N D C period is N D C and uh, you know runners and all that. So they have been in government for over thirty years, thirty four years and all that. This is what we are seeing. In in fancy language. He said Dokum be no one am me. What you say? Saka be Saka Saka Sa you know. What you say? Saka Sach a you know kind fantina okay. Canafanti, men canasanti, we are canasanti, canafanti. Missy, Docun, Docun P, no one am ya. Sasa, no one am ya. Emma, you pa, Docun, baby, ne, chinam kituabia, who do you feel the kinker? Docono. Salamiche. Look, after all this, you know, this is what Ghana is having. When Kamakua left, we had train services running, we had bus services running in Ghana. Bus services, how many bus services? Yes. Yes, a private transport. We had that in Ghana. We had train services in Ghana. There's no more train in Ghana. Look at so many accidents. Everybody must drive on the road. That's why so many thousands and thousands of people have been killed over the years. Road accident. About two million mm. since it so was. Serious. Yeah. Serious. Kumasi, uh, Northern Region, Central Region, everywhere. Yeah, people are dying because everybody must uh, go on the road. And the road, you know... It's the not the pressure. fact that people are going on. It's the yeah. fact that people go on the road, yes. unprepared. Yeah. Only no, no, but no, also no, I have to be honest. Women in Mkaka, Ghana drivers, you know, no, 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 they, no, they, no, they no, are no, telling no. they are very good. They will do their best on the rough roads. Look at uh, the situation that happened in Takwa. Mr. Bremo, mm. I brought it to you. Yes. You see a timber truck coming from Takwa to Takwa, eh? Uh, you should not a road not self complete. And the gold in Takwa, one of the richest lands in, in, in Ghana, is, is Takwa. Takwa. Mm, so, yeah. they, they came, they come for the gold with a helicopter. So Nanadu is not worried about the bad roads in there. The Uko Nukrom is still regional. It's a lovely road, brand new. We want the same thing for all Ghanaians. That's the serious problem we have. These are issues we have to address. No. Papa, Mr. Free Ankara, I saw a care. But when we are new, but uh, yes, they've been in government more than NPP. NPP is one of the oldest political parties in Ghana, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. When we see much in 1957, they are as old as Ghana, NP, N, NPP. Mm -hmm. This is what they are doing. This is what they are doing. Now they are struggling. They think they will have to come to power. We will come to the message for the youth based on what you have said. And Sana, you have closely programmed. You right. make a bit, or you also analysis from what my, you My heard. analysis has been the same thing I was trying to tell him. Um, basically, everything he said is something we know already. But I was, it was very interesting when he tried to distance himself from the, the same path between them and the, the NPP. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it was funny. He was trying to distance himself. 
because the the irony is um there is a foundation and the foundation will be laid by someone mm -hmm. and another person is um actually working part on it the 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 ndc apart from everything have been worse than the N npp the why? ndc have why been. Um, if you look at corruption patterns, you can mm -hmm. use percentages rather than using figures. Mm -hmm. If you use percentages, you you understand where I'm going at. If you use the figures, the figures might be different, but percentages will actually give you the actual projection of um, monies that have been stolen, mm -hmm. to be precise. I'm not, mm -hmm. I, I will not use any other word around it. That has been stolen. When this gentleman was speaking, I tried to push him on something. Mm -hmm. I was trying to get him on the <coughs> tangent mm -hmm. for himself. And for his party but the same word arrogance he tried to use for the N npp is what he portrayed here when i tried to be neutral in my questioning that was to direct my question to him as an aspirant what he's got to bring on board but he tried to manipulate it well he said at the beginning he didn't want to talk too much about it right no you so cannot he was not you cannot you cannot come to you a studio you yeah. cannot come to a studio to 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 show your to to say uh, uh, to manifest things to people mm. and refuse to say I don't want to talk about it. Mm. There are specific questions, specific details you might decide not to talk about, mm. but not things that is going to um, help your party to come to power. Whatever MPP is doing today, NDC has done it before. Mm -hmm. And in fact, if they've not done it worse, it's exactly the same thing. Everything he so said... what is your message? My message mm -hmm. to Ghanaians, mm -hmm. to be um, uh, uh, in all honesty, is that I've said this, I said this two years ago during our, um, uh, our, uh, one of our um, um, earlier interviews mm -hmm. that the country needs a third phase. Mm -hmm. The country needs a third phase. This is very fundamental. Everything this man said here shows that the country needs a third phase because there is no change. They've not changed. Their mindset is not changing. They is not sorry. They are mm -hmm. not sorry for anything. And that third phase is? That third phase is always going to be the LPG, the Liberal Party of Ghana, led by Honorable Kofi Apalu. So you're talking about Kofi Apalu and he's talking about... There, must be, there must be a third phase. Mm -hmm. If there's a coalition, it's, it's, there's no problem with that. Mm -hmm. If there's, the, 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 the one of the things I need, to, I need to insert here is we have, so, um, we have always relied on um, something um, like moral politics. We, mm -hmm. don't, we, don't, we don't use morals to rule countries or businesses. It's the law. Mm -hmm. How did the NDC do to the law? What did they do to the law? How did they respect the law? Mm -hmm. But I do not blame them. I will not blame them because Mahama is working. Mahama, in fact, has spent more than less than six months combined in Ghana since he left power. That shows you he's innocent. Mm -hmm. That shows you he's not, he's not corrupt. Mm -hmm. That shows you if that is true, then NPP applied to Ghana. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, the last thing I would like to say is NDC continue to do something that is harming the power of protest mm -hmm. in Ghana. The power of people coming out to the streets to demonstrate freely, willfully, and send their message and address that, um, that the matter on the ground. NDC have been doing this over and over again. Don't get yourself involved in organizing uh, mass demonstrations. Be, if you want to be part of it, don't come to demonstrations with your, your, your party portfolios and your party t-shirts. It becomes a politically motivated agenda. Let the people, the people who are suffering, Mr. Uh, Mr. Ankara is not suffering. Mm -hmm. Mr. Ankara has been in government and he's well off. Mm -hmm. Irrespective of what Kufuadu and the government is going to do within the next 10 years, it's not going to affect him. That is a fact. People like him can come. There's no, there's, it's not a problem when there is Sami Jamfi, there is Fuswa, uh, Fuswa Pofu. All those, these people can be a part of a demonstration. They are part of Ghanaians, they are Ghanaians. But they, they shouldn't make themselves as organizers of the same thing. It does not work. It doesn't make the government listen. The government is not shaped up because it becomes a political agenda. Thank you. Thank so you. what is your message for the youth to close off? My message to the Ghanaian youth is to um, see mm -hmm. the true colors of the two, of, um, the two parties. Mm -hmm. They cannot shy away from that. Anyone that's more than 18 years will at least have a bit of both. A bit of some years of both. So the, the truth is there. The trust people especially had in the Kufuado and what they are seeing morally, ethically, and even the management of the country is saying a lot. Mm -hmm. We do not just say things because um, parties will come to power. I've said this before, I'll say it again. We need a new face that can be responsible, that will be responsible. At least, we don't know him. That word, they, that uh, phrase people say, the evil you know, 
or the devil you know is better than the devil you don't know, I don't believe it. It doesn't work anymore. We need a new face. That new face is LPG or whoever needs to go in coalition with other one of the existing parties to keep them in check. And or two new parties or one new party. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Kit Yosin, you heard it all. What is your final life for the youth? My of Ghana? For the youth because of the youth is what the, uh, everyone is crying for now, is it? Yeah. I want the youth of Ghana to jump onto the streets mm -hmm. to campaign for the Ghana government to uh, return Dr. Papa Kusindum's banking license. Mm -hmm. Because when that happens, thousands of youth, uh, you know, have to go home unemployed. Up to now, they are still unemployed. Yeah, all bank workers throughout the whole Ghana, throughout the whole regions and all districts. GN Bank is there, 300 bank branches, they're all at home. They are young men and young uh, women. Mm -hmm. They form part of the nucleus of the youth. So they should go back, go onto the streets, peaceful de demonstration for Dr. Indom's licenses to come back to him. He left here a couple of days ago, he, he precisely. He left here on Tuesday morning. He was in the UK for one day. Okay. He left here on Tuesday morning. But, and he says he's not finished. You know he's not finished. The government tried to suppress him. He's, he's very, very cool, keep, very calm, mm -hmm. because uh, he works with the law. He believes in the oppression of the law. He doesn't believe in violence. That is what has been his uh, thinking all these days. Had it been somebody else, he would have committed suicide. But this, this is, this is, this is uh, it comes back to the same thing. The establishment and the upheld of our legal system is dead. Yeah. It's not dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And is it dead or there is no honesty? It, I, I, will not, I will not say honesty, is, honesty means it's there, but it's mm -hmm. not used properly. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. the, it appears the government is paying a huge bill for judicial services, mm -hmm. but the judicial services does not exist. And, not, and if you live in a country where it doesn't exist, it's anarchy. Services. I think yeah. we've got a big it's, problem. It's if it it's is anarchy. true, that we say Japan. Okay. Sorry. So then we are if also true that Kennedy, Japan want to be a, a president. Then we got we have to sit back and think again. Well, well we are also faced with a uh, presidential race, whereby uh, within the MPP we have Trade Minister Alan uh, Chiramatin. Kojo Chiramatin yeah. and the Vice President Dr. Maumdu Baumia. Um, with Agriculture Minister Dr. Ousue Friye Akutu, and now Kennedy and Japan has also joined the race. So it's a very hot contested race um, within the MPP camp. And then on the NDC camp, it's more likely Mahama, who is leading or you know, spearheading everything. And then you have Pa Kosindu, more like coming back. Papa, it's not Papa. Papa, Papa. Hey, yes. Papa, P A P A. Okay, <laughs> Papa Kosindu, yeah. He loves that. to be called Papa. And then we also have Kofi Apalu and the others who are also all wants to uh, will be in the race. Yeah, honestly. Um, Ghanaians, we can only wait for 2024, but the truth will be known and all will be here at Omega Live TV. We will see you next Thursday. Thank you. Good, good night and thank you, Mr. Kit Lawson, uh, you. Lawson for coming, PPP chairman, and also Mr. Richard Donko of uh, uh, LPG, Liberal Party of Ghana, head of research in the UK and Europe. And also, we thank Honorable Evis Efri uh, Ankara for joining us for this program. And our senior man, Joe Bedu, uh, producer, and Sister Dansoa. Good night, everyone. Good night. Thank you.